Hi Aries and welcome to your daily reading. I hope all of you are doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. So let's see what's coming up here for you Aries. The Three of Wands. You've made up your mind. You're pretty excited. It could also be somebody is focused on other things right now. Distracted. Okay. Wow. Okay, I got like 15 cards at once, so I just want one for what's in the cross position to Aries. Waiting, excited. Okay, page of air. Um, there could be somebody who you're ignoring or they're ignoring you. Six of air is underlying, avoiding, staying away from, moving on. It shows here there may have been something worrisome, eight of swords, concerning you on your mind. Wow. You have some kind of decision you're trying to make, two of swords. And um, you could also not have the information you need. So four of coin, you're holding back your energy, being very cautious. This is not a blockage. This is the energy of holding back out of caution so that you don't lose something. So you have master number 44. So it's showing self-restraint over your material world. So it's like, I'm not going to go give something to someone who's going to take it away from me, or I'm not going to, um, I'm, it's like you're exercising caution, which is actually huge for an Aries because Aries is all about the moment and living in the moment. And that's what you've done. Now there could be somebody who is distracted, focused on other things, you need information, you're not getting it. Your energy is like, I've got everything I want and need. Nine of Pentacles. You are not the way you were at one time, maybe. Um, I mean, this is a Taurus Capricorn or energy. This is very focused on keeping things stable. Around you is the lovers, or there's something about a connection, a reunion, major arcana for choices. What's in your energy? Well, um, somebody could be Knight of Air. You could be afraid of drama or causing drama. Um, the night of air rushes in and then rushes out. So it's like somebody who's losing their patience. Two queens. An earth queen and an air queen. Somebody is very grounded. And then someone here could be very bitter. We have two queens. But we have the your outcome energy as an eight of cups. Putting distance or emotional space between you and a situation. Um, okay, your energy is focused on independence. Why are you nine of coin here? Page of fire. You're very excited. It looks like that you might be very excited about something that you're doing. Page of wands. Ace of Cups and a King of Wands. Very strong, powerful feelings. There could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag around you. This person is taking action. They're coming in as a king. There's new powerful feelings there. Oh, we've got um, Eight of Wands and Justice coming in. Something accelerates all at once. Maybe a lot of messages. And then we have Fairness, the Law. Um karma, but it's Libra, peaceful balance, something being corrected. 
something being made fair. Now there could be something right now, nine of airs underlying. There's some stress or there's some worry that you may have possibly about somebody either showing off or trying to be a hero. There's something about somebody trying to be a hero. Okay, what is this four of coin? You're holding back and being cautious. What have we got here for Aries? The Empress. The Goddess of Abundance is coming. We also got the Sun. And the Seven of Wands. So we have here something about positivity. Somebody is standing their ground. Okay, so Aries, we have justice coming in. You're walking away from, looks like two feminine energies. The queen of air, a queen of earth. Something accelerates quickly. It needs to be corrected. And you are really just trying to make smart choices so that you don't jump in and overreact. Because you are, there is a page of wands. There's someone who wants to jump in. And then we have somebody standing their ground with the sun. What is the two of swords about here for Aries? Why is it here? The four of air. You're wanting to think about things. Take your time. You're wanting to rest or give it some thought. You don't want to just jump into something. Um... All right. The outcome is you you don't want to connect with someone, perhaps if they are mean to you, if they are selfish. What is the queen of air, queen of earth? Okay, it's some kind of social scenario. Friendships in the community. People who are getting together, sharing their feelings. You're walking away from this, though. Your energy was Eight of Cups. It could be any kind of group situation. Eight of Water, moving on, um, searching, empowerment, finding fulfillment. But, I mean, on this card, it doesn't say what the Eight of Water is, which is a Scorpio energy of life cycles. This is like I'm leaving this cycle and justice is coming in. I'm leaving this uh, situation behind me. The problem is a page of air. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, curious person, spy, watcher, gossip. And um, somebody is definitely standing their ground. So you might be feeling pushed. Your upcoming energy is the Empress, the Goddess of Abundance and Fertility. Uh, what else did we have? A Four of Earth. You're holding on to what you have. I feel like you won't be pushed into something. Um, the Sun reveals things that are hidden. Illuminates. It's like you're you need to see this. Why is there a four of air? Why don't you want to talk or discuss things with this group? A four of water, you just kind of like um are on discontent with the situation. Past energy influencing this is eight of air. You felt trapped, isolated, a prison of your thoughts. Very worrisome. Wow. Underlying the energy is the devil. There could be something about materialistic. Um, to me, the devil is also control. The birdcage with the door open is not really an accurate 
description. I mean, the devil is all about like where you don't have the freedom to do what you want because of either rules, regulation, people. Okay, we have the judgment, which is the renewal, revival. And somebody feels like they're at a crossroads. Um, what's the powerful feeling connected to, to this conflict? A very competitive energy. Competing, causing conflicts. And um, what is the four of coin here? What is the four of coin? Feeling stuck. Um, it's also self sacri like sacrificing. Feeling like you have to sacrifice. You don't want to sacrifice. Feeling like you don't have control over a, any kind of control over a situation. Your energy is nine of the pentacles. You are doing something on your own. Eight of Cups. What is Eight of Cups? Walking away. A Ten of Cups. There could be another relationship here that you might be in. Because you're walking from an Eight to a Two. Um, you could also be walking away from family or long-term connections. There's a king of the water coming in here. A very emotional, sensitive, caring, compassionate person. You have a choice you can make. This could be about your romantic relationships. The two of pentacles could be like you have a choice um, between two things. Priority. Priorities. So you feel like, so what's going on in this situation is you have a tough choice to make. You And you don't want to sacrifice your time, your money, your energy. Um, if um, maybe you're dealing with a bitter person, you could be dealing with a selfish person. Um, you clearly don't want to invest your heart and soul into something here. What is Eight of Fire and Justice? Okay, Justice over this devil energy. There is something corrupt or limiting. The moon, it's hidden. What's the outcome? There is a Queen of Air. Wow. The Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. This could be like a big victory over something that is very difficult for you, very toxic, very negative. What's going on in your life here, Aries? Your fear was the nine of the Knight of Swords. That somebody will get upset or angry. You find out the truth from this earth. Or you find out the truth. Um, about this Torah. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Justice is here. What is the Six of Air underlying? The King of the Water. This could also be a person returning to you. What do we have here? The Lovers. New Fire. Okay. Three of Cups. What is your energy here, Aries? I got like five at once. What is Aries' energy with the Nine of Pentacles? Something is affecting your energy that is about a competitive energy. There's a Page of Cups, a Water Sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. What is this Lover's energy? Gemini, Choices. Oh my gosh, it's the Lover's. Okay. What is the Awakening? Something about that you didn't know. What is the Awakening? Nine of Coin. Here you are. With the Four of Cups, there's something you just don't want. What is it Aries doesn't want here? Seven of Cups, confusion. 
many choices to be made. And so here you are, four of coin, holding back your energy. It's also a four of wands. Somebody's very loyal to a group, a family, a team. Okay, let's see. Five of the coin. Could be making you feel left out in the cold if you're having to compete with somebody else, but you're not wanting to give or invest in this situation. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody, this uh, Aries Leo or Sag Masculine won't give up on the situation. Even though there's a Page of Swords, there's a lot of gossip, there's some troublemaker around the energy. Gemini, a magician, somebody who stirs up trouble and illusions, Okay, not quite sure what that's about. <laughs> um, okay, so the challenge for the day was the Page of Swords. That's like a snitch. It's a spy. It's um, it's basically a snitch or a spy or a gossip. What do we have here? The door to spirit. Walking away. Okay, Aries. Okay, you have the energy of the healer of the ages. The angel of love shining down on you. And we also have the door to value coming in. All right, Aries, this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.